everyone to the very exciting second part of the Hot Wheel Super 6 Lane Track Mini Racers competition. In today's races, we will see some awesome battles that will feature some crashes, passes, and smashes. So get ready to watch our competitors battle it out and race towards the finish line to become the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike. I present to you to the second exciting episode of the Mini Racers Hot Wheel Super 6 Track Competition. Here are the racers that competed in the last episode, and here are the two winners that previously won the first two races. And now as we move forward, we move on to the racer that we will be reviewing later on in today's video. And also, here are two more sets of mini racers that we will be reviewing in the next episode. So go ahead and finish watching this one and stay tuned for that. Now let's go ahead and start reviewing our diecast cars that we'll be seeing in today's races. Starting off with this first package, we have three cars that were featured in the third Cars movie. Here on the back, we see the names of them. Now let's go ahead and get this turned around and opened up so that way we can start reviewing them further. I present to you Cruz Ramirez. She has a little red square on the side of her that says the number 95. Next up, we have the number 95, the Rusty's Racer, Lightning McQueen. And the last die cast up in this package is Metallic Sterling. Do you happen to know which car Metallic Sterling is? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And here are the two versions of Sterling being compared with by one another. The metallic version having a very shiny paint, whereas the regular version just has a matte gray paint. Now, moving on to our second package of diecast cars. Here they are with a really cool picture right there on the front. And then here are the racers that we will be reviewing. This is what each competitor looks like all wrapped up in the packaging for those of you that like to collect them. Now let's go ahead and turn it over and on the back we'll see the names of each of the racers. Now let's go ahead and get them out so that way we can review them further. I present to you, Tomater. Look at how rusty that paint is. And the next car that we have up is Sally. She's based off of the real life car, the Porsche. Do you happen to remember what job Sally has in Radiator Springs? Let me know in the comments below. And now I present to you, none other than Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. This version of the 95 happens to be the one given this awesome paint job by Ramon in the first Cars movie. I feel like the minimalistic look is pretty cool. Now, moving on to all the racers that we have reviewed, happens to be Metallic Sterling, Cruz Ramirez, Tomater, Radiator Springs, Lightning McQueen, The King Strip Weathers, and none other than Lightning McQueen. Now let's go ahead and get our racer set up on the track and review how this race will work. Our competitors will start all the way up here at the top and then come down here to this ginormous turn, where if they pass that, they will receive one point. Then they'll come along to the straightaway, lining up for a jump across a gigantic canyon. And if they land that, they'll have a straight shot to the finish line. And if they pass it, they'll receive a second point. And whoever crosses the finish line first will receive an additional point for a total of three points. And let the races begin as our racers start rocking forward with Lightning McQueen and Sally spelling it out from first position. And oh no! There goes the number 95 flipping over! I was too wrapped up with that action. I wasn't able to see exactly who won. So let's go ahead and check out the next replay to find out. And starting off our race, it looks like our racers are mostly side by side. But then if you'll pay attention to the back, it looks like Cruz Ramirez is starting to fall behind. She's really going to have to push on the accelerator in order to catch up. Now going into that turn, it looks like Lightning McQueen, Sally, and Tomater are battling out for first position. And now there goes the 95 flipping over, giving wait for Sally to have a huge lead in front of everybody else, leaving Mater and looks like Sterling in her dust as the racers cross the canyon and cross that finish line. It looks like it was Sally who was the winner of this race. Now let's go ahead and check up on our other racers. Back here at the turn, it looks like we have Lightning McQueen and it looks like we have another 95 and Cruz Ramirez down there in the canyon. Over here, it looks like we have Metallic Sterling flipped over off the track along with Toe Mater also flipped over. And over here across the finish line who crossed it first, Sally is the winner. Congratulations! And here are our standings after that race. It's still anyone's game. Let's continue watching to find out which racer will win. Let's begin! <laughs> And boom, there go our racers spiraling off down the track with Mater and Light McQueen and Sally bailing out for first position. Here comes McQueen passing Mater, oh my, wow! What an amazing steal that we just saw right there. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay to watch that action one more time. 
And so here come our racers coming off down the gate with all of them starting out side by side but then quickly dispersing into their positions. It looks like in the back we have Radiator Springs, Lady McQueen. And then in that fifth position we have Cruz Ramirez. Now moving on into that turn, it looks like Metallic Stirring taking a tumble as he falls over, flat over heels for him. And there goes Cruz Ramirez also taking that tumble, flipping over one by one. The Sally is starting to skid out with Radiator Springs, Lady McQueen bumping into her. Up in the front, Lady McQueen makes that pass from Mater and takes the lead. And now checking up on our racers back here at that turn, we have Metallic Sterling. At the beginning of the straightaway, we have Cruz Ramirez flipped over. I really do hope she's okay. Over here in the canyon, we have Sally and Radiator Springs, Lady McQueen, both turned over. I hope that they're okay. And then across the finish line, we have Toe Mater and then our winner, Lightning McQueen! What an amazing display of speed that we saw him put on today. And here are our standings after that second race. It looks like first position is all tied up overall with four points for three of the racers. And Kachow! There goes Lenny McQueen going off into the distance, coming into that turn. Oh, there's Sally and Mater! And no, it's Lenny McQueen as he makes the jump! Oh, wow! I can't believe the action that we just saw here today, folks. Let's go ahead and check out that replay just to watch it again. And here come our racers down the track, starting out mostly side by side until what it looks like Sally, Mater, and Lenny McQueen, all three of them kind of battling it out for first position there. Then after a little bit, it looks like it's Mater pulling into first, followed closely by Sally as they go into that turn. And oh, no! It looks like it's all over for both Sally and Mater as they flip over, leaving way for the number 95 to pass them. Here comes Cruz Ramirez pulling into second position, followed by Sterling. There goes Lady McQueen making the jump and crossing the finish line. Here comes Metallic Sterling. Oh my, wow! These are just some very exciting battles that we've been seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. Very exciting. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers. Back here on the straightaway, we have Sally and Mater kind of both stopped right next to each other but flipped upside down. Over here, across the finish line, there's Cruz Ramirez hanging out in the audience. And then we have Metallic Sterling and Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen right over there. But then we have our winner, the regular 95 Lightning McQueen. And now here are our standings after that third race. It looks like Lady McQueen has seven points, which makes him lead by two points in that first position overall. And our competitors are off with Tomater bursting in the first position, followed closely by Sally around that turn. Oh, wow! A huge wreck back there around that turn. And let's go ahead and check out our next replay to find out what just happened because I was not able to see who won. And now just beginning that race, it looks like it's Tomater and Sally pulling in that first position, both battling it out, trying to see who will win. And then ultimately it looks like it's Mater who's triumphant in that battle. Coming around that turn, oh wow! There goes Mater and Sally just flipping over. I don't, I didn't see what they hit, but they must have hit something that sent them flying, leaving way for both 95s to battle it out for first position. Here they come lining up for that jump and they both clear it and it looks like it's regular Lady McQueen followed by Radiator Springs Lady McQueen. What an amazing battle that we just witnessed here today. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers. Here's Mater flipped over on his side along with Sally and it looks like Metallic Sterling off of his lane. In the middle there it looks like it's Cruz Ramirez in that canyon. And then across the finish line in second position, we have Radiator Springs, Lightning McQueen. And then regular Lightning McQueen is our winner. And here are our standings after that fourth race. It looks like regular Lightning McQueen leads by four. And the race is off at full speed ahead with Sally quickly pulling into first position with Maters following quickly behind. It looks like they're lining up for that jump and they clear it, but I was not able to see who won, so let's go ahead and check out our next replay to watch that action one more time. Here come our racers down the ramp. Sally and Mater both battling it out with Lightning McQueen in third position. In the back, it looks like we have Metallic Sterling and Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen battling out for that fourth position and Cruz Ramirez following in last position. And then, oh wow, there goes Metallic Sterling falling out after that turn, leaving way for Radiator Springs, Lady McQueen take that fourth position and Cruz Ramirez to catch up. Here come our racers making that jump over that canyon with Sally smoothly coming in but hitting into that wall. Mater flipping out as he lands, Lady McQueen, both Lady McQueens skidding out as they cross along with Cruz Ramirez who crossed last. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers. There's Metallic Sterling before the jump tumbled over on top of himself. I hope he's okay. And then there's Sally, who is the winner of this race, followed by all our other racers. 
and here are our standings after that fifth race, folks. It's getting real close. Which of these races will end up being triumphant? And boom, just like lightning, there go our racers, Sally and Mater, quickly battling it out. But no, Lenny McQueen takes that turn ferociously and crosses that finish line, quickly followed by Mater. What happened with the rest of our racers? Where did they go? Let's check out our second relay to find out what happened. So here come our racers down that track. Metallic Sterling and Cruz Ramirez in the back. They're kind of battling it out to whoever stays out of last position. But no, they're now gating on Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen as they come into that turn. There goes Lightning almost flipping over out of that turn, but he was able to recover, and now he's in first position. Oh no, Sally's flipped over, going over that canyon. Here comes Mater very quickly into second position. And also here comes Sally flipped over on her roof, crossing that finish line just barely, followed by Cruz Ramirez and Metallic Sterling. What happened to Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen? Let's go ahead and check up on him. Here he is before that jump just sputtered out. Oh no, Metallic Sterling barely just almost crossed that finish line, but he was not able to. Here is Sally, who did cross that finish line over on her roof. She, let's make that recovery. And there's Mater, way over here, across that finish line, off of the track. And then here is our winner, Lightning McQueen. And now here are our standings after that final race. And with a total of 15 points, the clear victor is Lightning McQueen. Congratulations to the Rusty's Racer for moving forward to our final round for him to win a chance to be Grand Champion and win the trophy. Now let's go ahead and move on to our next set of diecast racers. Here's the package with an amazing picture right there on the front. Here are the racers all up in that packaging and then on the back you see the names of our racers. Let's go ahead and start getting them out so that way we can review them. First up is Lightning McQueen from the third Cars movie. I like how the Rusty's name is printed on the back of his spoiler. The next diecast up for review is none other than Cruz Ramirez. She is a trainer who teaches all of the trainees at the Rusty's Racing Center. Her main color is yellow with some silver wheels, and her dream is to race as a race car. And now, let's move on to our very exciting, exclusive edition for this package. I present to you, Kurt. I like the purple colors that accent that kind of gray color. And like Cruz Ramirez, he does have a number square. He races with the number 12. Now moving on to our second box of our second set of racers during today's video. Here we have a really awesome picture right there on the front, and then we have these really cool racers in their packaging. I believe that they are part of the next gen series of cars. On the back, we do have the names of those competitors. Let's go ahead and get them out. First up is Jackson Storm, racing with the number 2.0, and sponsored by Igniter. Now moving on to our second racer, we have George Newwin, sponsored by Leakless and racing with the number 52. I like his black and yellow design. I think it's really cool, especially with that really awesome oil spill design. And now moving to our amazing exclusive racer, we have Jackson Storm's hauler, Gail Beaufort. I really love how he has got that like little cap on him. I think that looks really cool. Along with the colors of the black and gray, that looks real slick. So here are our racers, all lined up and ready to compete. We have Cruz Ramirez, Kurt, Lightning McQueen, George Newen, Gail Beaufort, and Jackson Storm. Which one of these racers will move on and be triumphant? Remember, there can only be one moving on to the Grand Champions for a chance to win the trophy. So let's stick around and find out which racer will move on to become a finalist. And the race is off at full speed head with Cruz Ramirez and Kurt up there in the front battling it out. And then, oh, it looks like it's Cruz Ramirez in first position, followed by Kurt. And then I was not able to see who was in the third position. It looks like it was either Lightning McQueen or Kel Beaufort. Let's go ahead and check out our next replay to watch that action one more time. And now coming down that ramp in the back, it looks like it, Lightning McQueen is the one that's falling behind with then Jackson Storm and then George Newen. Up in the front coming into that turn, it looks like it's Cruz Ramirez Kurt. And whoa! Coming around that turn, it looks like Lightning McQueen steals third position away from Gail Beaufort with then George Newen taking last position. Up in the front across the canyon, it looks like it's Cruz Ramirez who finishes first, followed by Kurt. And it looks like at the last second, Gail Beaufort steals third position back from Lightning McQueen. After the race, here are all of our racers. They are, have all crossed the finish line. Very proud of them. But there can only be one winner, and that goes to Cruz Ramirez. 
And here are our standings after that very first race. Cruz Ramirez leads by one point. And there go our racers as the gates open up. It looks like it's Cruz Ramirez and Kurt battling out for first position again, but ultimately it goes to Cruz Ramirez. Let's go ahead and check out that action again with our second replay, because there was some trouble back there coming out of that turn. And as those floodgates open, it does look like our racers mostly start out side by side. Kind of there in the back, it's George Newen and Lightning McQueen battling up for that last and fifth position. In the middle, it's Jackson Storm and his hauler, Gail Beaufort, battling up for that third and fourth position. Going into that turn, whoa! It looks like George Newen couldn't take the pressure as he flips over. And no, neither could the McQueen as he also flips over. Up there in the front, crossing that canyon. It looks like it goes to Cruz Ramirez and Kurt with Gail Beaufort coming in that third position with Jackson Storm in that fourth place. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers. Back here on the straightaway, we have him upside down is George Newen. And man, McQueen skidded far over there on his hood. I really do hope those two racers are okay. Across that jump, we have Jackson Storm, Gail Beaufort, Kurt, and our winner, Cruz Ramirez. And here are our standings after that second race. Cruz Ramirez has a total of six and the next runner-up has four. Who will win? And bam, there go those racers all pushing a pedal to the metal. Coming into that turn, it looks like Cruz Ramirez. No, it looks like Jackson Storm. Whoa, whoa, look at that action. I can't believe what I just saw. We need to go ahead and check out our next replay to watch that action again. Here come our racers down that track, mostly kind of starting out side by side until Cruz Ramirez starts pulling up in that first position. In the last, it looks like Lightning is being left behind as they come into that turn. Here come our racers where Jackson Storm steals the lead away from Cruz Ramirez, followed by George Newen. And then out of nowhere, we have Kurt coming up from that fourth position and punching it into first position as he crosses the finish line. I do not see McQueen. He must have gotten left in the dust back there. Now checking up on our racers, we have the number 95 back here before the finish line. And then across the finish line, we have Jackson Storm, Gail Beaufort, Kurt, Cruz Ramirez, and George Newen. But our winner does happen to be Kurt. Congratulations. And here our standing show after that third race that Kurt is catching up. Who will take the lead from Cruz Ramirez? And the race is off for the start with the first position quickly going to Cruz Ramirez. Coming into that turn, it looks like it goes to Gail Beaufort. And here comes Cruz Ramirez sneaking up out of the wall. It looks like it was way too close to call. We need to go ahead and check out our next replay to find out exactly who won. And with our race just beginning, it does look like our racers are mostly starting out side by side from each other. Here comes Gail Beaufort coming up from the back with in the front Cruz Ramirez. As we go into that turn, it does look like Gail Beaufort steals that with Kurt way back there in the back coming out of that turn. But then out of nowhere, here comes Cruz Ramirez coming up to steal it, the first position away from Gail Beaufort. And it looks like it was Cruz Ramirez. And she's followed up by all the rest of our racers. Let's go ahead and check up on them after this race. Back here across the finish line, we have Kurt, Gail Beaufort, Jackson Storm, George Newen, Lightning McQueen. And the winner of today's epic battle is Cruz Ramirez. Here are our standings after that fourth race. Cruz Ramirez does increase her lead by two with a total of 11 points. It's still anyone's game. And there go our racers blasting off from the starting line with Cruz Ramirez taking that first position. And whoa! Where did Kurt go? What just happened to him? We need to go ahead and check out our second replay to find out what just happened. And as our race immediately starts, it looks like first position is being battled out between Cruz Ramirez, George Newen, and Kurt. But yes, it ultimately goes to Cruz Ramirez. Back there in the back, we have the number 95 who is falling behind, but he might have a chance to catch up coming into the turn. And there goes Kurt, who seemingly hits air as he's blasted off of the track. Now coming up is Cruz Ramirez, who steals first position away from Jackson Storm before they just crosses the finish line. Whoa! This is very exciting. It was very close.
close, ladies and gentlemen. And here come the rest of our racers crossing that finish line shortly after Cruz Ramirez. Let's check up on our racers. Back here at that turn, we do have Kurt who's flipped over off of the track. I hope he's okay. But across the finish line, we have Lightning McQueen, Gail Beaufort, George Newin, Jackson Storm, and our winner, Cruz Ramirez. Here are our standings. Cruz Ramirez leads by five. Will anyone ever be able to catch up? Let's find out. And as we begin our sixth race, the lead instantly goes to Cruz Ramirez who rockets in there. And no, no, she skids out and flips over and loses that lead completely. I wasn't able to see who stole it from her, but let's go ahead and check out our next replay to find out. And as our racers start coming down the track, it looks like the lead is being fought for between Cruz Ramirez, Kurt, and George Newen. But yes, it ultimately does go to Cruz Ramirez. In the back, Lightning has a chance to catch up coming into the turn. And wow, there goes Cruz Ramirez and Kurt, both of them getting airtime current now and Cruz Ramirez is late and Cruz Ramirez skidding out losing tons of momentum leaving way for Gail Beaufort to steal the lead and cross the finish line first here come the rest of our racers it looks like it was lightning in second position followed by George Newen let's go ahead and check up on the rest of our racers and way back here before the jump we have Cruz Ramirez flipped over I hope she's okay over here across the finish line we do have Jackson Storm Kurt Lightning McQueen George Newen and our winner of this sixth race Gail Beaufort but will it be enough Enough to be first place overall? Let's find out! And here are our standings after that very last race. With a total of 15 points, it goes to Cruz Ramirez! Congratulations on moving forward to the final round for a chance to win the trophy and title of Grand Champion. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our other videos on this channel. And also remember to stay tuned for the last exciting episode of this Hot Wheels 6 Lane Track Tournament. Which racer out of all these competitors was your favorite? Go ahead and let me know the name or the number in the comments below. And in the meantime, keep racing!